What's up, buddy? It's G here, coming at you with my character breakdown for Marky from Battlebond. So, guys, let's jump right into this video. Before we get into this video, if you do go on to enjoy this or any of my other videos, make sure to subscribe as I really, really do appreciate it. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video and share if you do enjoy as well. Anyways, on with the video. So hopefully this will be a series I'd like to continue once the full game of Battleborn actually comes out. But I thought I'd get a head start on it as I really do enjoy this game and hopefully I should be getting this because it is completely awesome and I love this game. So. I'm going to be breaking down Marquis, who is one of my favourite characters to play as at the moment inside Battleborn, and I've had loads of fun playing as him throughout the beta. So, in this breakdown, I will be going through his weapons and attributes and skills, and we'll be giving them a breakdown and what I think about them. I will be leaving some time signatures in the description, so you guys can just go click on them and find the bits you want to watch, maybe about just the abilities or just about the weapons. It's completely up to you. We can just stay and watch the whole thing. So we're going to start off with the weapons and his first main weapon is the Bindle Bane Hilt Pistol. This is a very close quarter weapon which has a slow fire rate but a very high impact. It is a six round mag but with that six rounds you can pack a punch. You can take down the shields and almost kill them. This will be one of the main weapons you use while playing as Marky, as it is his starter weapon along with his Bindles Bane sniper rifle. Now this weapon is deadly and pretty dapper and is brilliant at long range shooting. I have found this weapon really really useful while playing the game as when I'm in long range situations on incursion, as soon as you spawn you can just find somewhere not exactly camp, but find somewhere at a strategic point and just kill people who just run down to try and protect their bots and to try and take down your tanks. Which is really helpful because you've also got your other characters inside the game who will probably try attempt to support you while trying to take down the shields and you can just finish them off and steal their kills. But through the augment tree there is many different upgrades you can get for the pistol and sniper. I only take ones that reduce my recoil and sometimes increase my damage. So then it will allow me to destroy enemies much quicker. Now moving on to his abilities and attributes. So the first one is a predatory strike which basically allows you to get a kind of drone which is an owl called Houdini, awesome name, which comes out of his hat and by using the different augment it will allow it to do different things. I usually put mine so it can cloak and sometimes you can get ones that will allow you to have multiple of these so then you can destroy enemies much quicker and send them out into the field to destroy enemies which this also combines really well with the next ability I'm now about to talk about. So the next ability is Temporal Distortion. This alters time and slows enemies inside of a bubble. This ability has many different permutations you can add to it, such as blindness and slowing the characters down. This allows you to put lots of heavy fire on them while inside the bubble, and I have got many kills by using the combination of the predatory strike and the temporal distortion. Also, while using the sniper, this can prove to be very helpful as well. Also, a lot of teammates do benefit from this as well let's say you are attempting to destroy a tank and there's loads of enemies surrounding it you can just put all the enemies in, the, in this bubble they'll try to escape it but by the time they've tried to escape it you've already destroyed them and then you can just move on with the objective and i feel like this is a very very beneficial attribute to this character and finally onto his special ability bindle blast this is basically a very very powerful charge and fire long range weapon. Basically it acts as kind of like an overpowered railgun sniper is what I put it as and it deals high amounts of damage and it will destroy shields and practically kill enemies if they're on full health but I have destroyed many enemies using this as it is super super overpowered 
you can use your augment tree to allow you to get two shots on this but it will reduce your damage by 33% but there's other abilities which you can add to this to make it better and you can adapt it to your playstyle. So what do you think about this character? Have you played as him yet? Have you not? Are you going to buy this game or aren't you? Tell me in that comment section down below as I love to always hear what you better. Yes, I will be carrying on doing Halo videos and yes, I know the beta for the Warzone firefight is out right now and I haven't actually had a chance to play it yet. I might try to put up some gameplay, if not, I'll just give you my thoughts and opinions on it. So hope to see you guys in my next video. Please make sure to subscribe if you are new around here as I really appreciate it. Also remember to drop a like on the video. Let's see if we can go for five likes again on this video and I'll see you in my next one. Laters.